We are happy to connect with you every single day. We have lovely guests joining us from all parts of India and the world as well. Different age groups, people with different talents, great achievers, unsung heroes, etc. And we love to bond with them and network with them and create a beautiful world. When we meet lovely minds, it's a day of joy. And when we request them to share their time with us on the International Fab Talks, and when they agree, it's a moment of extreme bliss. And today we are really happy to have the presence of our celebrity and guest. She is none other than Shanaya Singh, joining us all the way from Kolkata, West Bengal, India. She is a world record holder. She is also a great achiever in different fields. She has won so many awards. Let's get to know more about her, how she's able to do this. We'll get to know her world. We'll get to know the world of Shanaya Singh. Please join us to welcome our celebrity and guest, Hello, Dia, and welcome to the session. Thank you so much for being here with us, Shanaya. Thank you so much, ma'am, for inviting me and for that warm welcome. Friends, I'd like to share Shanaya's profile. She is Shanaya Singh. She is with us today. She is a storyteller, an author, and she studies at Mahadevi Birla World Academy, Kolkata, West Bengal, India. Today on the International Fab Talks Talent Hunt, let's get to know more about her what are her talents and how we could also enable our children and encourage other children around us to be achievers. And let's enjoy and celebrate the time with our celebrity and guest. I'm really happy because she's one wonderful person. Let's get to know more about her. Dear, over to you. Now, we'd love to know more about you. Who is the real Shania? How would you define yourself for all of us? Ma'am, I'm a storyteller, author, but... Above all of that, I'm a very humble and honest person. You should never be overconfident and you should always be humble. Yes, dear. That's really wonderful, Shanaya. That's excellent. I'm really happy to hear that. And now we should always have some bit of humanity with us. Very true, yes. We should have humanity and be very humble. Only then we can achieve things in our life. If we have ego, we will not reach anywhere. That's really right. Nice. You've shared the best message, dear. Thank you so much. Now, Shanaya, I'd like you to share about your school. Which class are you in? And your school? I'm in Mahadevi Bila World Academy. I'm in class 5. Yes, dear. My school is very supportive. My friends, my teachers, my principals, my vice principals, they support me a lot. And they have helped me a lot through this journey. Oh, that's really great. That's wonderful. That's nice to know. Now, Shanaya. Now, you have achieved so many awards. You are so busy. Okay. Now, I'd like to just share a little more about you to all our guests. Let them get to know as to who the real Shania is. I'll share a few uh, things about you and then we begin the session. Is it? Okay, just a second here. So, friends, I'd like you to know that Shania has really co contributed a lot. And let's get to know more about what are our contributions. I just share her profile in depth, dear friends. Now, Shania is a world record holder in the International Book of Records, Asia Book of Records, America Book of Records, and Indian Book of Records. Mm -hmm. She received the Global Achievers Award in 2021 by All India Radio, the Pride of Nation Award by Hope Foundation, Sri Dada Saheb Palke Award for spreading reading culture and positivity in children during the pandemic, APJ Abdul Kalam Award, the Pillars of India 2021. The National Star Icon Award 2021 conducted by All India Arts Council and Rashtriya Navabharat Gyanapit. Shanaya has also been nominated for the Rashtriya Bal Puruskar in the year 2022. She received the award from the National Child and Women's Development Council as well. She received the International Achievers India Award. She also received the Indian Nobility Award in 2021. And there are so many, so many awards. Now, I just can't, if I keep reading, I think it will take a long time. This is really wonderful and awesome. So many yeah. awards. I'm really surprised to, uh, you know, connect with her. How can this little child be able to do so much? She's also the national champion brand camp ambassador. Let me put that right. She is the national campaign brand ambassador for TV and mobile de-addiction campaign. That's really nice. Shanaya received the Bharatiya Bal Kala Sanskriti Samman Kala Sanskriti Foundation Vande Bharat Mataram Award. That is also really nice. 
She's also been invited by Cry India for a storytelling competition and an interactive session with them. That's really nice. Now, she is also recognized as the top 50 world's most influential young leaders by Worldwide Leaders Association and America International Educational Federation. So this is so much. Now, if I, as I earlier mentioned, she has so many more awards. If I read them, it will take a long time. And I'm really amazed at this achievement. Not this achievement, these achievements by our celebrity and guest. None other than Shania Singh. Now, let's get to know more about her and celebrate her journey today on the International Talks. Now, dear, that's really wonderful. Uh, it's really awesome uh, to have you here. Now, Shania, how are you able to do all of this? Like you, you have achieved so many awards. Till date, I have not met anyone who have achieved so many awards of your age. So how does this happen with you or how you, do you make it possible? Ma'am, I actually have a timetable for everything. So I study, after I study for two and a half hours, I play, I read books, and I do all my other activities. After coming from school, I finish my homework and all because in the evening I have to study. That's really nice. So I manage everything as time management is really important. And time is very valuable and precious. So it is in our hands how we spend it. Yes, sure. That's really nice. Time management. Yeah. And really I also conduct free online storytelling sessions across the world so that I can spread reading culture in children and give them a platform to speak confidently and freely. Yes, dear. Now, uh, how do you develop this confidence, like to speak so boldly? I've also seen you speaking among all the big people around you, and there, there are people like, uh, uh, you know, they must be in their 50s and 60s and you're standing in between them and you're speaking to them so well. How does this happen? Now, it's quite magical for me. Ma'am, actually, there's a fact that by reading more books, you can increase your speech, your vocabulary. So, ma'am, I read books and I'm able to speak. But, ma'am, I believe that I can learn more as I'm still a child. I can learn from elders and so many more people. Ma'am, I learn many facts from small, small children in my school, from my parents, from my teachers, from my grandmother. So I'm still a child and there's much to learn now. That's very nice, Shanaya. Thank you so much. Now, Shanaya, you are an excellent storyteller as well. You are an avid reader as well. Now, if I may request you to share a little story with us, <laughs> would you mind that? No, ma'am. Yes. Sorry for that. So today, I'm going to narrate a story, The Speed, written by Carolyn Hans. Once, there was a wise emperor whose one star grade turned into the color of new fallen snow. He was becoming old and thought that now it was time for him to choose a new heir to the throne. But he also knew that the heirs which he had for very lazy because of power and wealth, they knew that one day or another they would become the emperor. So, the emperor thought of choosing somebody from the kingdom. Loud drums called a gathering of young men. Everybody was shocked and started to whisper amongst themselves, Nothing has happened like this ever before. I am very excited. So, the emperor shared with them that I will give each one of you a seed and you must bring that seed back the next year. And it should be a beautiful plant. Everybody took the seed. Now, there was a man named Chan. He was last in line. Picked his seed carefully. He ran home and told his mother about it. He told, Mother, look, I have got the seed. And I have to do it. His mother had gave him a blue and white porcelain bowl. He put some cotton, his seed, and watered it daily. Now he noticed that the men in his village were transplanting their plants into bigger pots. But sadly, Chan seed did not sprout. He prayed in the temple for a miracle. He did 
for six months, but still nothing had happened. The time finally came to go and find out who will be the next emperor. Everybody's plans were so beautiful, but Chan was really embarrassed and scared to go. But his mother had forced him because she knew that he had tried hard and she had told him that you have worked hard and you should go because you have spent a lot of time. So he went. The emperor was amazed to see such beautiful plants. He went and told everyone, <clears throat> you all have amazing plants. But then he noticed an empty pot. He called that person, Chan, who had that empty pot and asked him, why do you have an empty pot? Then Chan said, I am a failure. I couldn't grow my plant. Then the emperor realized that how dishonest everyone was. He raised his voice and spoke to the crowd. <clears throat> Seeds which I had handed out last year were boiled. Thus, they couldn't germinate. When you all found out that you couldn't, your seed won't sprout. She changed it, substituted it with another seed. I am very heartened to see how dishonest people in my kingdom are. Thus, Chan will be the next emperor for his honest, honesty, courageousness, and bravery. Thank you. The moral of the story is you should always, always be honest. Awesome. And you have such beautiful expressions also as well. And your voice modulation, you know, you are changing your voice, the tone of your voice as required. And you're having beautiful, you know, uh, explanation, explanation while you're sharing it. You're using your hand gestures so well. That's really nice. Awesome. Awesome. Brilliant. Brilliant. 10 on 10. I really agree. I wish I had a big dairy milk chocolate or a big gift to just hand it over to you just right now. That's really nice. Wonderful. Very impressive. Now, I remember myself as a young girl, very shy, timid, scared to talk. And when I look at you, I wish I was as strong as you when I was a little kid. Seriously. That's really nice, Shanaya. Now, Shanaya, what about friends? How do they connect with you? I mean, what is the quotient that you share with them? Ma'am, actually, when I first told them about my storytelling club, they were all so excited and wanted to volunteer. They said, okay, come, I will join your storytelling club. And they had supported me a lot. Whatever stories I had wrote, they read it and they absolutely loved it. That's great. So you're an author as well. Now, from where do you get all this magical energy from? Who is behind this, Mama? Ma'am, Ma actually, nobody's behind this. But my parents and family support me a lot. Actually, ma'am, I sit outside the window and observe the beauty of nature. So I've written a story, the squirrel family tree. So I've written the story about a few squirrels who used to come to my kitchen every day. And I used to feed them biscuits. They all used to come together, eat those biscuits, enjoy and play. And then they would eat. So I thought, why not make a story about this? It's like building Legos, building blocks together and making a beautiful creation. Awesome. That's really nice. That's wonderful. That's great to hear. Now, when you stand in front of a huge crowd and when you talk, don't are you, aren't you scared? No, ma'am. I'm not nervous at all. I just think that I should be confident. And there's a tip which I always actually follow. If I narrate the story and if I forget any line or part, I just continue because I know the story, no one else knows it. So we should always be with the flow. That's really nice. That's wonderful. Now, Shanaya, do you have brothers and sisters as well? Are you the only child or you have brothers and sisters? No, ma'am, I don't have any brothers and sisters. But I do have a small pet rabbit. So I take him as my brother. Oh, pet rabbit, is it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. What's its name? Barfi, because he's white and he has small, small patches of brown on him. Oh, great. Would you would you mind showing him to us later on? Uh, Is he close by? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll just bring him. Yeah, we'll wait for him to come. So, dear friends, here we have Shanaya Singh who is joining us all the way from Kolkata. Have you seen how she speaks? 
have you heard the way she's speaking so well and sharing her thoughts and so expressive? This is how we all should encourage our children to come forward and to be bold and face the world. If you like what the International Fab Talk team is doing, stay connected with us. Like, comment, subscribe, and share to the International Fab Talks. Hey, Shania, you're there with your best friend. Yes, please. You could explain something about him. Over to you. Yes. I got him as one of my gifts because I did really well in my exams. And he is two years old. And I love him a lot. He's very kind. He doesn't bite people and he's very excited to meet them. He's not a shy rabbit. Whenever I let anybody touch him, he loves it. Barfi? His name is Barfi? Yes, ma'am. Would you like to say something more about him? He looks so cute. Yes, ma'am, but one thing is that he does not like to be held for a very long time, but he loves getting cuddles and loves being pat. I'm really so happy to see Barfi. That's really nice. He's so cute. That's really nice. And he sheds a lot of hair though. Yes, dear. I understand that. Now, dear, now apart from pets, apart from friends, we'll talk about studies. How do you manage your studies? Like, do you ma find it very tough or like you're able to balance it? No, ma'am. Studies are never really tough. They're just like storybooks and we should read them like it's fun to read it. We should read it in a fun way. We should not take them as, oh, these are school books. These, of course, will be boring. No, we should read it in a fun way. Like, oh, these are new books. Let me read them. As in my school books, there are very interesting chapters and there are many fun ways to learn them. So studies are never boring or hard for me. Yes, dear. What is it that you love about your school? Ma'am, the one thing I love about my school is how supportive everyone is. And my school has a really big playground, so that also. Yes. All the teachers are very kind. That's really nice to hear. Now, Shanaya, you said that you have a wonderful playground in your school. Now, what are the games that you play with your friends? Ma'am, there's a game called Tag. So, it means you have to play that game. And then we play musical statues. One of my friends sings. And then you all have to freeze when he stops. And then we play basketball. Sometimes cricket also. Pardon? We have slides and swings also. Great. That's really nice. That's so nice. Yes. Now, Shanaya, you're also into dance, right? Singing yes. and all of that. So how you how are you able to balance all of this? You know, you, you seem to be multi-talented. Not talented just in one mm -hmm. particular zone. You're multi-talented. Ma'am, I actually, as I told you previously, I have a timetable for everything. So on Saturdays, it's a day, Saturday and Sunday is a day full of activities. I enjoy doing them and I play the violin on Saturday. I dance on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I sing, I play and of course, I read every day. It's really nice. I read every day. That's really nice. Now, dear, would you like to dedicate a song to all your friends, for me and for my team and for all the people in the world? I'm to sing a song which I had sung in my school, Bella Chow. Ona matina, zonu jato, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, 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 Parti jano, Puta mi via, Ke mi senduri mori. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really so nice. Thank you very much. When you're recognized for the talents that you have within you, when you're recognized for all the extracurricular activities that you take part in, how does it feel when you're called on the stage and you receive that gift and you receive that certificate? How does that feel? Ma'am, I feel happy. But at the same time, my parents always taught me to be humble. So we should never be overconfident or proud. So I feel happy when I get a certificate, but also I feel humble. That's really great. Now, are you mama's pet or daddy's pet? I really, um, daddy's pet. 
Daddy sweat. Oh my God, that's really nice. Great to hear that. Now, dear, let's talk about the environment. Now, what is your role with regard to the environment? Do you love growing little plants or saplings to say, or like, you know, you love to watch nature? Yes, um, I love watching nature and some of my stories are dedicated to nature. And what will happen if we don't plant trees in few years' time? If the number of trees will decrease, oxygen levels will go down, it will go low, there will be a lot of pollution. So, and I love planting trees. I have a hibiscus plant and I had a lemon plant too. Oh, wow. That's great. Now, I do... also make small, small posters and I have a garden near mm -hmm. my house. So I stick them there, that plant more trees, small, small posters I make. One in a while when I'm free, I make those posters. Or sometimes I even make some drawings and I stick them there. So even you draw and you color and paint as well? Yes, ma'am. I'm really good at sketching. Wow. That's really so nice. You sing, you dance, you write stories, you, you narrate stories. Let's go on to the next question. The next question here is, if at all you are standing under a tree or it's an imaginary question, okay? Imagine you are standing under a tree or I give you a magic wand in your hand, right? And I ask you uh, to, uh, to request the tree, magic tree, magical tree or the wand uh, to give you three gifts or to fulfill three wishes, what are the three wishes that you'd love to fulfill? And what? To bring peace to everyone so that there are no wars anywhere and everybody should be happy. That's my first wish. My second wish would be uh, to provide everybody with food, water and shelter and to stop all cases of poverty and to make sure everybody is in a safe and happy environment without worrying where they are. Wow, that's wonderful. Now, Shania, what makes you happy? You you are into different uh, fields. Now, amongst all of them, what gives you the most... Uh, I mean, everything makes me very happy. Spending time with my family is the most. And after that, food. Wow. And reading books. You mentioned spending time with your family makes you happy, the happiest, right? Now, how do you spend time with your family? Ma'am, I spend time with my family by playing games with them, by talking to them. Ma'am, many of my family members live in different parts of the world. So I call them, I video call them, and I bake cakes for my family. Wow. What's that? Could you repeat what you said? I bake cakes for my family. Wow. Shania, you have to teach me to bake cakes. You have to teach me to bake very simple, three ingredient cake. Please, because I'm a bad so baker. First we today. make any biscuit which we want to make a cake with. So and then we grind it in the mixer. After as you take it out, it's your choice if you want to put sugar or not. Then put milk and baking powder is not required. But if you want, you can put it. And after that, you can put it in those molds. But before putting it in that, you should grease it with butter and put it in the microwave. We don't even need an OTG for this. Just a microwave and your cake is ready. Wow. And it's very tasty. So sometimes I prepare, like if I'm making a cake with Oreos, so the uh, filling inside that, I take it out, I roll it and make small, small figurines with them and decorate my cupcakes. Once I made one mini mouse ears also, heart for my mother's birthday and I decorated it with gems and nothing as it's a favorite chocolate. Oh, wow. That's really nice. I am really amazed. Like I, I mean, something magical about you, dear. Seriously. I, and have a talk show with you with regard to your baking skills as well. Yes, dear. Yeah. Now, Shanaya, now there are several other youngsters out there who are not privileged. They don't have good parents or they may not have that environment where they could bloom. And they could grow and they could, you know, express their thoughts and views just the way you are doing today. Now, what do you have to say about them? Have you seen people who are less privileged around you? Yes, Mama, I've seen many people. So, Mom, actually, I have a small piggy bank where I save money. And my goal is to save up so much money that I can make a place where I can educate underprivileged children and help them to read books for free. And provide them with food, water, shelter, 
and you should never compare anybody with anything as everybody is special and unique in their own way man i say yeah. it in the wow that's brilliant great great i've been saving for the past 2 years so it was be a lot more part to you more part to you dear that's really nice excellent excellent super awesome that's really nice you know what apart from what you have decided like you know you want to open up a space for children and provide them with the best of things who are underprivileged like allow them to have the access to reading free reading good food good education etc etc what i'd love them to learn from you shanaya is your confidence you have a confidence that would kill kill me amaze people in the way that they just stand there and like i'm still amazed i'm some in some other world in some other world you've taken me to the next level the way you're speaking the way you're sharing things awesome brilliant keep it up keep it up dear mm -hmm. now dear we've also seen certain parents being very rude to their children very harsh they speak roughly they beat them or they you know force them to do some work and mm -hmm. of course we all we all have to do a little work at home help our parents but there are certain parents who are quite rough and rude to their children so what is the message you have for such parents how they should transform themselves uh, to love their children in the right way you should never compare your child with anybody's child as everybody is special and unique in their own way they have some spark of hidden talent in them so you should always work towards seeing their talent and ask them what they good at follow their interest yes dear now uh, uh, shanaya we've also seen young children young girls and boys speaking rudely to their parents speaking harshly to their parents disobe disobeying their parents using the mobile a lot or you know not studying properly now what is the message for all of these children of your age who are not doing their best and not respecting their parents what is the message from you to them ma'am actually i read an article on online where it was written that these days mobile phones are slowly changing people's behavior the way they talk as people and even there was an article written about a child was fighting with their parents for mobile and how mobile is slowly slowly like disconnecting us from our family members and we are not able to connect with people anymore as we are glued to the mobile so we should spend more time with our family apologize to people who have who we have spoke wrongly to stop watching the television and i'm not just telling everybody read more books read more books of course read books but instead of watching the television play too read go out with your friends if you want to go out anywhere tell your friends or your parents So we shouldn't disobey mm. anybody and talk. We should always mm. respect our parents as they are our uh, guidance. We should always follow their footsteps. You're a wonderful angel. I'm really, really amazed to listen to you. When I listen to you, it's like, oh my god, I should listen to her a little more. I mean, that's really nice. You, you're an awesome person. Now, dear, mom, uh -huh. age is no age is no barrier. We can bring. any change at any age wow so age is just a number super that's up to you for this beautiful answer that's really nice apart from please sorry and thank you you could share any three empowering words that could transform our thought process and make us the better version of ourselves ma'am the three are reduce reuse recycle yes dear Thank you, thank you so much, Shanaya. Thank you. Stay blessed and stay connected. Have a wonderful time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, my dear friends. With this, we come to an end to the international fab talks for today. I had a wonderful time with this great child. She's a genius, and she's gifted by the Almighty. And of course, her parents, her grandparents, and the people around her have shaped her into a beautiful human being. The power of her speech, the power of the pen that is in her hand, enables her to go. further and further and create waves or maybe create that beautiful space for people to understand that life is beautiful no matter what age you are age is just a number you could really be a great inspiration in the world this little child has inspired me i'm sure she will inspire each one of you too and if you like what the international fab talk team is doing 
stay connected with us. Like, comment, subscribe, and share to the International Fab Talks. Above all, don't forget to love your children. Don't forget to love your parents. Love the people around you. Respect them and create that peaceful atmosphere for everyone. Stay blessed and stay safe. Signing off from the International Fab Talks. Thank you, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.